In this video, we're going to take a look at how negative exponents work into solving exponential equations. We've already determined that if we can get the same face on both sides of the equation, the exponents must also be equal. With fractions, it takes one extra thing to be aware of, one extra exponent property to be aware of, as we get the same base on both sides. And that's to remember that fractions are created by negative exponents. In other words, we remember the property a to the negative m simply meant we put 1 over the a to the m. Well, we can use this property in reverse, and if we recognize a fraction, we'll just rewrite the exponent as a negative exponent. So, for example, if we have 1 over 3 to the x equals 81 to the 4x, the 1 over 3 can be rewritten as 3 with a negative exponent, in this case, 3 to the negative 1. Because 3 to the first is 3, the negative moves that down into the denominator. Equals 81, we need its prime factorization. Dividing by 3, 27 times. Dividing by 3, 9 times. Dividing by 3, 3 times. Dividing by 3, once. That'd be 3 to the 4th power is the 81, and we still have the 4x on it, and the x on the other half. Don't forget the exponents that were there to begin with, because our next step is to multiply them together, giving us 3 to the negative x equals 3 to the 16x. And we know if the exponent, or I'm sorry, if the bases are the same, the exponents must also be the same. The negative x must be equal to the 16x. And we now have a very simple form equation. We can solve, getting the variable on one side by adding x to both. Leaves behind 0. It doesn't, the left side doesn't disappear. There's still a number there, 0. And 16 plus x is 17x. Dividing both sides by 17, we have x alone is equal to 0. Let's try one more example that might be a little more involved. In example 2 here, we see 1 over 25 to the 3x minus 1 equals 125 to the 4x plus 2. The 25 has a prime factorization. Divide by 5, 5 times, 5 once. The 25 is 5 squared. But we have to create the fraction with a negative exponent. We will say that's 5 to the negative 2 power, keeping the 3x minus 1 outside. And the 125 can also be factored. Divide by 5, 25 times. Divide by 5, 5 times. Divide by 5 once. 125 is 5 cubed to the 4x plus 2 power. We can now multiply exponents together by distributing, making sure we multiply by the entire exponent, giving us 5 to the negative 6x. Sorry, negative 6x plus 2, negative 2 times negative 1, equals 5 to the 12x plus 6. And again, the bases are equal, so the exponents must also be equal. Negative 6x plus 2 must equal 12x plus 6. Solving then, get the variable on one side by adding 6x to both. Gives us 2 equals 18x plus 6. Two-step equation, subtracting 6 from both sides. Negative 4 equals 18x. And finally, dividing both sides by 18. x is equal to the reduced fraction, negative 2 ninths. So again, get a common base with prime factorizations, and negative exponents are what create 
the fractions.